All right, hello, and welcome back to my real time strategy tutorial in real time, <clears throat> real time strategy in Unity. You know, you get what you're here for. Uh, today, we are doing unit upgrades, or not just unit upgrades, sorry, not just unit upgrades, but I've only done unit upgrades as an example, but you can do them for anything you can have a value for in the game, basically. So, I will show you first off, we can have a uh, Sorry, uh, so I say if we improve worker health for 500 food, we'll see that that gets added to the uh, thing, a little uh, debug display, and I'll count down, and I'll just move these over here, I'm sorry. Uh, so as you can see, these workers have five health. But if I build a new one here, uh, I'll just go for that. And this one has seven and a half. You know, improves the health and stuff. So basically, what today is going to be about is showing you how to do that. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the basic principle behind uh, creating a like a an upgrade or some gameplay value that you can upgrade is that we're going to store it in this uh, upgrade value script. Uh, basically, yeah. So that uh, we can have these upgrades that we purchase and then they make a call to here to change the value. And when we instantiate something, so say we created worker, uh, it would, on its creation, it would get its health value from here. So it update. If that makes sense. So if you can see here, we've got a we've got a worker base health, so we could upgrade that. Uh, we've got a health multiplier again, upgrade that, and a build time modifier. So basically, lower this number, the faster it builds, and the higher this number, the more health you get, basically. And I've done a similar thing for hoplites and archers. And basically, these are just methods to get and set the values. So if you just read them quickly, so sort of get the idea of what I'm doing. And I'll show you an example. So on the uh, hot flight, uh, basically, oh, one thing I did change uh, was on the unit mass class where I've made awake public. Uh, this means we can call it from the child classes Hoplite, Archer, and Worker, uh, just so we don't have to repeat uh, this section of code because we're going to need it. But we also want to have a uh, separate one here because we're going to have different health values for Hoplite, Worker, and Archer. So basically, once Hoplite is called, hop, sorry, once Hoplite is created, Awake is called. It calls the base .awake to assign its health script and whatnot, and then it grabs it sets the health value in its health script to be whatever the get hoplite health is so this will take into account the modifiers that you might have added so it'll multiply hoplite base health by hoplite health multiplier and yeah and there's a similar one for uh fucking what's the word uh archers workers etc you know you can see here all right what was the other change uh I'll go do that later. So and a similar thing for uh for the creating of the units. Uh basically on the first frame the action is called, the uh timer is multiplied by the get archer build time method or it'd be get hoply or get worker in this respective script. So yeah, so that'll basically say, all right, so say we reduced it by ten percent, it'd be the overall timer would be ten percent slower. If well, yeah, that makes sense. I'm just stating the obvious, but yeah, get the idea. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, so I've had references to this. I do wait public. Uh, I'll go over the example upgrades in a minute. Actually, I'll do it now. So basically, uh, yeah. Uh, one thing I did implement differently was a. Uh, this can we do boolean, which basically uh, is 
the condition that needs to be met to do the upgrade, which perhaps if I had the upgrade. So if in this case we have faster archers, we want to have enough resources to do it and to not already have the upgrade. So if we do that, we can uh, perform the upgrades that allow to do the action queue and, you know, all that. And then on complete, it decreases the archer build time modifier by 0 0.1. And for these upgrades, we also have added the uh, Static Boolean, which isn't a member of the uh, base building action class, because we want to have sort of a separate Static Boolean for each, uh, each type of upgrade, so we can only get them once. So yeah, if, yeah that makes sense. Uh, and if, like, say... You could uh, also expand this, I guess, to uh, include references to these static booleans. So say if you wanted to have uh, improved Hoplite Health 2, so they'd have another boost of 0 0.5, so they have double the health that they start with. Uh, you'd be able to have... Uh, and... Uh, uh, build action dot... Faster Hoplites dot... Got a upgrade. And that'd be like another criteria for it. Okay. Uh, another thing I've changed is the get button text. So basically, it looks for basically base. There's a uh, three states it can be in. If we've not got the upgrade and we can do it, it'll just say what the action does and how much it costs. If we don't have enough, uh, if we can't do it, it'll say insufficient resources to improve hot plate health. So you need the food cost, and if you were to uh, have some other criteria that needed to be met, like getting other upgrades or whatnot, then you'd want to add like a description of that here. And if we have got the upgrade, it just returns we have got the health researched. And since when we finish the upgrade, it'll be set to tr got upgrade will be true, uh, we won't be able to get it again just to avoid uh, like spamming it in, really. So yeah. Uh, sorry, should close that. Uh, so upgrade values. I did add a uh, quick. Uh, sorry, I quickly added a GUI style to the buttons, just to make it look a bit easy, nicer on the eyes and easier to read. I'm gonna keep doing that next time. Just, it it's pretty easy to add a GUI style. I just basically I created some basic textures and found a font that's free to use. And in the GUI manager, I bet you basically just when you're drawing a button or something, add in a comma and add button GUI style. Uh, also, I've switched from uh, just passing in the building action to the resource checker to just be ba dot can we do so we can have uh, more variety. Not variety. Uh, we can be more flexible with like the conditions that need to be met for the buttons. So yeah. That is good. Uh, what else? What upgrade values? Oh, I figured out what the... Uh, basically, I figured out what the uh, index out of range exception we were getting with workers is. Uh, that was basically because we had... This was here. Uh, beforehand. And when we would finish an action, it would remove the action but then it'd have one last call to try and do the action and that would generate the index out of range exception. So I've just moved that up here and that is fixed bug. Uh, what else? Can we do bull? Let's see actions in GUI. I think it's certainly that. Yeah. I don't think there was anything else that I needed to say about that. Uh, upgrade values. It's just a goal. The statement text to show upgrades. Like public. What happens to get values? Yeah, I think that is it. So this is just like an example of how you could, uh, what, well, some example upgrades. You could have, say, like increased building health, movement speed, all that kind of stuff. Basically, any value you could store in that uh, original upgrade value scripts and reference, you can change. You know, you could do something stupid like increasing the size of the buildings or something. I don't know. You know, whatever batshit shit you want to do. But I leave that to you.
So yeah, uh, I'll just give you a quick demo of what we did today again. So if we just do this, build the workers, we want to build a building, we want to build a temple, because that's where we build our upgrades. So just wait for this to build. Ooh, okay, that's a glitch, but whatever. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> whatever, I'll fix that for next time. Uh, so if you just see here, these workers now, they have five health. If we create another worker, that'll still have five health because I forgot to press the upgrade button. Uh, yeah, so you can go over here. So if we improve worker build speed, we'll see that since we have 499 food, we can't build any of these uh, upgrades. So it says we've got insufficient resources. That's good. And now that we actually have the uh, improved worker build speed research, uh, it says that we can't well, research it again. So it's saying, look, we can't click in, can't add it. But now if we click uh, create worker, you'll it's slightly faster. It's only half a second faster, but since I clicked the wrong bloody upgrade thing, we'll have to, it'll have to do. Actually, I can just um, change the value in here. The bloody, uh, where is the resources? Give me controller. Uh, food. Nine, 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 nine. All nines. Uh, so if we want to improve worker health, and just move this brick out of the way. I think he's going to go kill his friends, but whatever. Nope, okay. So now we've got the worker health, we can create another worker. And once he's built, he's there. You can see his health is 7.5, but these original workers who were built before the upgrade only have health of 5. So isn't that lovely? So yeah, cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Go check out my stuff on Itch.io, there's Loud or Quiet, which I've been doing some work on actually, that's quite going quite well, I think, uh, it was, so play that, that's the important one, uh, I got Omega Station, which was my university project, which, I'm almost at the end of university now, it's weird, because I started uh, Loud or Quiet in my first year at uni, and now it's just, time's gone flying by, I do uh, computer science, so yeah. If you didn't guess from all the programming lark. Uh, what else? What else? What else? That's about it. Cheers for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. And bye.